back again. <laughs> Revelation 9. And the fifth angel sounded. So we're still in the angel sounding. And this is the woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. To the inhabitants of the earth. Because there's three more angels to sound their trumpets, right? And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, and the smoke of the great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God on their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of scorpion. When he striketh a man and in those days shall a man seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men and they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth were as the teeth of lions and they had breastplates as it was as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle and they had tails like unto scorpions and there were stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue, his name is Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had a trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river. Euphrates and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men so this was already a time appointed for that to happen and the number of the army of horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and the jacinth and brimstone and the heads of horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out their mouths for their powers in their mouth and the in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt and the rest of the men which were not killed by the plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands and they should not worship devils and idols and gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read Revelation 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried seven thunders, 
uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and aware and swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are in the earth, and the things that therein are in the sea, and things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. Time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel, and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as it, I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Okay. I'm going to stop there.